Uh, we're going to be playing Grandia today. Uh, Grandia is a JRPG, a uh, classic uh, similar work in a multi-game franchise for the PlayStation 1. Uh, and it's a bit remarkable because it uh, it wasn't as, well, for lack of a better term, it wasn't as edgy uh, as a lot of the other games that uh, were its peers. Uh, and so, my controller working. Oh, oh man. Shouldn't have had so many yes, shrooms. I must have dozed off. Okay, is this the intro, I, I guess? had that dream again. The Are baskets, you okay? They're hounding me. Also, it's a voice-acted PSX Morin, game. Where are we now? It's only been a half an hour since you asked <laughs> that last. That guy's headpiece is dope as fuck. I'm gonna be honest you with you. You look tired, General Ball. I keep telling you, Morlin. When there are no soldiers around, you should call me father. Excuse me, but Lieutenant Lean is still here. Ugh. I can't tell if this is part of the demo or if this is the beginning of the game. <laughs> but you know that Lean is a very special very part special. of our military plans, aren't you, Lean? Ah, she's mute. The third she fulfills our affirmative action quota, you see. It's almost finished. Uh, okay. I'm counting on you too. I'm pretty sure these are bad guys. Lean. Like they kind of have to be, right? We assigned an elite battalion of our forces to this excavation. Maybe the guy, the, the kid here, is a bad guy, and the girl has a change I'm of sure heart. We'll hear good news. The current time is 13:40 hours. Now passing through this Parm airspace. Surprisingly our good ETA voice acting for a PSX game, by the way. 30 hours. Well, yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed. Lean, open the viewports for General Ball. Yes, Colonel Mullen. I'm gonna feel real bad if we have to watch this whole cutscene again when I actually manage to start the game. Uh, oh, that's really, that's a cool effect. That's a good use of like a background. That's a really impressive effect. Oh, I'm sorry I keep yawning, everyone. I uh, had to get up very early this morning because the air conditioner in our house uh, died, and we had to greet the uh, HVAC guys. I feel like it maybe is supposed to be moving faster than that. Nope, oh, that's right. Okay, so... The beginning of the game, or... I still can't tell if I'm playing or not, or if this is all just part of the attract demo <laughs> reel. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. I fall into darkness. I'm led to believe that at some point I am allowed to play the game. But until then, we're watching a movie together. In glorious 2D sound. He's just booking it. I like her purse, it's very cute. And her hairpiece is really cute too. Teach you, you punk. Oh shit. Oh. oh, that's me. That's definitely me, right? 
Oh, I love how the oh, drums are synchronized to the steps. Not you again. You just don't learn trashing my shit again. What? I didn't trash it. Why oh. won't you listen to me? Oh, God, that voice. I'm staking my pride as a man and my soul as an adventurer on this treasure hunt. Oh. oh. Shut up. There's no oh. treasure in all that junk. That's. Now you've completely trashed it. Oh, God. Anyway, don't ever hunt release for treasure in, in the U.S. Again. You hear me, boy? Jesus. Ouch. Game, you died. <laughs> Game awful, over. Man. He never ever understands why I'm rooting around Justin! in his private. Oh no. <laughs> Justin, Justin, you okay? Oh no. That sounded like it hurt. Oh, Sue, did you see that? Sue? Don't oh, worry. Lord. He like sounds that? like Ash fucking Ketchum. For a first rate adventurer, it comes with the territory. Right. So how'd it go? Did you find anything in the shed? Nah, nothing at all. It really was all junk. Must have guessed wrong. But Sue, they can play eventually. You? Of course, I found something. I would really something. like it if I did. Ta-da! Here it is, the legendary armor. I found it all by myself. The legendary armor, huh? I'm gonna oh, move yeah. my uh, webcam so you guys Puppy can. Help too. Not have to miss the. Here you go, Justin. The Where legendary do I go? armor. Want, do I want to be up here? Now the map will probably be up there. Great. Do I want to be up here? That's I guess I want to be up one. here. That leaves the shield of light, the warrior's helmet, and the spirit sword. The spirit sword. Don't forget, we gotta get him by sundown, or we'll lose. Hmm. Yuck! I don't want to marry that awful god. What is fucking you know, happening? <laughs> it's really your fault, Justin. You're the one that took Gons up on his dare. You'd better take responsibility. Okay, I know, oh, I know. Okay, I will be happy to do that if at any point I get let's to control my to character. That's what I ask for okay, in return. Let's go too. <laughs> oh my god, her hairpiece is a dude. Her hairpiece is a character. Of course it is. We found <sighs> it, Gons. The first treasure. Oh, am I controlling the game now? Aha! Why can't I use my analog stick, though? It looks like we we're playing with the pad this time. It looks like we're gonna play with the pad first. If it isn't Justin, taking your sweet time, aren't you? First-rate adventurer, schminturer. The end of the world was found, and there's no use for adventurers. You're way behind the times. I'm going to make up my own voice because this character shouldn't sound like an idiot. There is no end of the world. Huh? You don't even know that? You, a first-rate adventurer? There's no way you're going to find the four treasures before sundown. This duel is as good as one. As you promised, starting tomorrow, Sue's in my game. I, Gaunts, will take her as my bride. No way, Gaunts. We got plenty of time before sundown. Hey, hey, Gaunts, looky here. Shows the dirty apron to Gaunts. That is not a sentence. There, there's no subject. Oh, you found the legendary armor. Uh, how about that? Oh, it's you, Justin. You played with Gaunts again? You guys really are good friends. Me and Gaunts, good friends? No way. I'm having a duel with him. Yeah, you're totally not friends. At all. We're playing hide and seek. Hey, Justin, are you playing hide and seek with Gaunts too? Huh? Why do you say that? I'm having a duel with Gaunts. We're not playing hide and seek. That's so? Well, why did Gaunts climb down into the canal? He's sneaking around doing something. I thought it was hide and seek. A clue. Wahaha. Small child, you have sealed his fate. Yeah, but that's the helmet. Say, hey, Justin, do you think this pot could be the warrior's helmet? Yeah, I think you're right. This must be the warrior's helmet. <laughs> Just you wait, Gaunts. Battered pot acquired. Yep, that's uh, 
totally a warrior's helmet there. It's you uh continue to amaze and astound. Oh man. Ah, uh, nothing to do. There's nothing more boring when you get found in hide and seek. Gotta keep standing here until she finds everyone. Anyway, what are you doing, Justin? I'm glad you asked. I'm having a duel with gods. He really wants everybody to know about that. Huh. Who's behind this? Sticking these flyers on the walls of other people's houses? I know. It must have been you, Justin. What? what? It wasn't me. Look in these eyes. Are these lying eyes? No. I'm the strongest one in all of Parm. You get a problem with that, then come at me. What's the strongest? Ah, it's gotta be Gantz. That is like Gantz, teehee. Wait, do we hate this guy or not? Duel of the century! Gantz, defender of justice versus Justin the coward. The hunt for four treasures begins. Hey, what is this? It says Justin the coward. Oh, Gantz is in for it now. Oh, that's right. It doesn't even have my name or Puffy's name either. That's pretty rude. You're, you're totally missing the point, Sue. They say the future of our forces and the world depends on the Salt Ruins operation. At least, that's what General Ball says anyway. But still, I never thought I'd be digging holes. Say, Justin, isn't Salt the ruins of an ancient civilization? Why is the army investigating it? I'm in the young, I'm in the young men's club. Can't you see that the that harm's full of activity? It keeps on developing. Time for youth has come. That's what the Young Men's Club is for. How about it? Want to join, Justin? I think I'll pass. If I joined, I couldn't go adventuring when I wanted. I feel like... Maybe... We missed a clue for the second piece. I don't know. What about you? Oh, my goodness. I've been seeking for so long and I still haven't found anybody. Being it in hide-and-seek is tough. Oh, that's right. Ippy, you're so gentle-natured. Maybe you're not cut out to be it. What is this? That's a bottle. Never mind. That's from the opening cutscene. Come on. We're going in this guy's shed again. No, we're not. <laughs> I was hoping we could go in there. Hey, Just. Hey, Justin. Did you hear? That crazy inventor in South Parm has invented something else again. Oh, that inventor won't stop. But it sounds interesting. Maybe I should go see him. You're about the only one that goes to visit that crazy inventor guy. Yeah. That husband of mine must be wandering around somewhere. He pilfered money from my purse and must be gambling somewhere again. But, ma'am, why are you so angry? Oh, I just can't help it. My husband lost his job and goes gambling every day. But that's... That's a very legit thing to be angry about. I mean... Addiction is a disease, but it's still sad. And being angry about it is very reasonable. Also, um, you guys let me know if like the game volume's too high or too low, or you know, stuff like that. This is the uh, first time I've done this for a while, so some of the balancing might be a little bit off. You guys, be my eyes and ears. Oh, open only at night. You don't have to read to me. Even I can read that. I'm not a kid anymore. Hmm. Can't go down the alleyways. I guess we do need to go explore the port. Oh no, I'm busted. It's Justin. Oh, well, I gotta run his ass down. Wasn't that Tense who just ran away? Too bad he's Gantz's little brother. Otherwise, he's pretty cute. Y you think so? I mean, I guess he is a lot better than Gantz. Oh, it's him again. I better run. Run and run, 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 run. Thank you for the host, Mr. Ace Peacecraft. I, f I figured you would have an interest in watching us stream again. Oh, I'm busted. It's Justin. Oh, what? Okay, so I got to... This is one of those... You gotta like come at them from the right way to make them run the right way, right way. I bet that's that's my guess. So we're gonna we're gonna do the jukes. We're gonna hit them with the jukes and go up this way, then back down this way. 
Okay, and that sends him back to there. Okay, and that's the old man. But then we probably want to, if we come at him from this way, we'll fuck him up now. Ugh, come on. Alright. I'm smart, don't you guys worry. Alright, so I hit him from here. That sends him back over there. And then if I chase him directly, he won't be able to run past me. Or he'll just... Okay. I'm glad you're happy. I'm happy too. We're gonna... We're gonna make this a regular thing. We're gonna institute some, uh... Some systems that I'm gonna totally swipe from another really cool streamer that, uh... Soreness turned me on to. I think that this guy is an asshole. That's what I think. Um... Fuck. I mean, is there any way for me to actually pin him down? Maybe I need help. Hey, you're you're bored, right? Help me help me get this guy. No, okay. All right, so coming at him from the wrong, from the right direction and the middle direction don't work. Is there any way to come at him from the left direction? I don't think there is. Oh, I can get over here, but I can't. What does this say? Good coffee and beautiful women. Oh, well, that's definitely supposed to be booze. It's true that Miss Kirlian is beautiful, but Justin, you haven't even tasted the coffee. No, I don't want to. It was OK. Oh, that Miss Kirlian sure is alluring. Ah, the attractiveness of an adult. Oh, uh, yes. What are, you, what are you saying? You didn't notice the attractiveness of the lady next to you. Dude, you're like 10. I need you to chill. All right. Can I get past him? OK. So is it? Coming at him from this way. No, okay, he just goes between the, the same two places. The fuck? And this, this is where our journey ends. Not able to figure out how to fucking do anything about this dumb kid. Okay, well, we hit him from behind last time. Uh, he's just going in between the same two places. Oh, does she age in the game? I've actually never played this before. That's awesome. Got the better pot. The place where you always... Oh, so that's definitely out on the port. You think close, Justin. The four treasures are hidden around North Farm. You'll never be able to find them all before a sundown. <laughs> If you don't fix that tooth soon, none of the girls will like you, Koser. Jeez, that fucking vicious. No, it's you, Justin. Nah. Told you last time, we're not playing. This is a battle to the death, bruh. Bruh. I actually really like it when games have, like, the, uh, the section in the middle where the, the, the main characters who are relatively young, uh, age. Like, that's actually kind of cool to me. Hey, you kids! Passengers only beyond this point. Go home. Don't oh, save the game, baby. I'm glad that the new versions of the... I mean, I'm glad that there's a memory card. And that I didn't have to put a memory card in. Yeah. Right, it's a place where we can always hear the seagulls. Seagulls, seagulls, seagulls. Is it out here? See something up there? No, never mind. That's just an actual lighthouse. Yeah. All right. Where's the treasure? Wherever. Wherever. It's so okay. It's where you can hear seagulls. So really, all it's saying is it's in the port. Because you can just hear seagulls the whole time here. Uh, oh, wait, it's just right there. Wowzers. Okay. We got the shield of light, guys. Good job. <laughs> okay, well, let's go back and I guess get another easy, easy hint. And then figure out where the remaining legendary treasure is.
Oh, weird. When I turn off my analog, then the uh, stick, like, causes um, inputs. Weird. Okay. Um, no, I don't want to go to the porter farm. Let's go give him this pot lid, and then he can make figuring out the remaining piece entirely too easy. Oh my god, I don't care about you, dude. You just, you don't matter. I hate to be mean, but you're not important. <laughs> of course, now that I want to go fucking turn in the lid, I can't even find the fucking guy. Uh, there's the old man. That's where the port is, so I think it's right over here, yeah? Yeah, it is. Now what'd you find? Show me. <laughs> I brought you the shield of light. Hey, Sorna's Bear. Chose the pot lid to Gaunt's. Ugh, you found the sword of light too. Guess you got three of the four treasures. Don't let it go to your head. You won't find the last one, the spirit sword, so easy, Justin. Spirit sword? Ha, <laughs> piece of cake. Then I win, Gaunt's. But we didn't see anything like a sword anywhere. The treasure chest in my house. Okay, so I gotta get the key, and that's why I gotta go interact with his brother. Boom, got it. So let's go, I guess, beat the hell out of his brother. That's probably not what I should be doing as like a 12 year old boy, but probably what I will be doing. Video games have taught me there's no other really good way to solve your problems, you know. Okay, so he's not standing. Got him. Oh, brutal. Oh, what? Where should I find? hide now? This time they'll never find me. I didn't even know who it is. What a scrub. What do I do? What do I do? Ah! Hey, 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 hey. What's wrong, Tense? Probably girls are sociopaths. I mean... You ain't wrong. Why are you crying? <laughs> I'll tell you, but will you promise not to tell God? Um, wait. Right, I can't promise. Oh, uh, what? Okay, I don't... Oh, you lost the tree. You lost... Well, okay, okay. How'd you know? So can you read my mind or something? You, you just fucking said it. Come on, stop crying. We'll help you look for it, right, Justin? Guess we have no choice. Do, 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 what? Oh, okay, we're crawling around because we're looking for the cat. I was like, what? Oh, wow, that was really lucky. Oh, that's it. I'm so glad you found me. Thanks, Justin. Oh, well, what do you know? Tents can be so sweet. I'll never forget this, Justin. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely remember until the day after tomorrow. Oh, look at you. You were bawling like a baby, and now you're back to the usual tense. Big Brother Guns told me that I'd give his key to you, Justin, but, you know, I'll give it to you anyway. I can't be indebted to anyone if I'm going to be a man. Treasure chest key acquired. Tell him that you took it from me by force, okay? Otherwise, he'll beat me up. As you're just holding the spirit sword is at my house. Okay. Let's follow him. So, uh, I've already forgotten where he went. <laughs> uh, is it house two? Is it house two? It is house two. I did it. Wait, no, that's not the It's just the same, same sprite. God damn it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, this is also not the right place. Let's see. Where, oh, where did this kid go? Eh? 
Nope, that's the shed that I'm not supposed to go in anymore. Ah, okay, he stands outside. How nice of him. Yance's house. Puff puff. Puff puff. Here it is. This is the spirit sword. Wooden sword acquired. Go claim our victory in our duel to the death. Uh, should be here. Oh no, they're in trouble. Why do you guys keep pulling these pranks all the time? Are you listening, Gantz? Oh, look at that, Sue. Greg's telling Gantz off good. What a chump. I mean, we told Gantz to stop blocking the bridge. He really is stupid. It was Gantz who stacked those boxes on the bridge, so let's just act casual and walk right by. Get wrecked. Huh? Hey, wait a second, Justin. What are you two playing together with Gantz to? Surely you jest. There's no way I'd be caught dead playing with Gantz. Oh, that's right, Greg, sir. We just happen to be passing by, right, Puffy? Puff! Puff, puff! Of course you wouldn't. There's no way I, Gantz, would be playing with Justin. Me and Justin are having a duel. What? What's the meaning of this, Justin? Oh, busted. Make a break for it, Sue. Arrest those children. Try them as adults. Put them in jail for 20 years. We need the revenue. Too real? Too real. Oh, okay. We live in a nautical goods shop. <sighs> oh, we made it. But he didn't have to get that bad. Um, be in the quiet since I'm working it up, but you might like to know someone in my building selling some furniture, including a table I can use as a computer desk. So I'm one step closer to getting my own stream set up. All right, good job, Soreness. I'm looking forward to... Uh, be able to watch you stream and we'll, we'll host you on here and create a little little network of hosting it's just that all the regular things you do are bad that's why no one believes you wow jesus christ everything you do is bad thanks kid today's blackout lunch set oh today's specials blackout lunch set squid king sea urchin curry shark peel off and dragon salad oh that's a far on the lot of those is this my mom? Hey, Justin. And I get Ouch. hit so much in this game. Mom! What did I do? What? You just How many times do I have to tell you? Walked right no into the kitchen. Shoes in the kitchen. Even so, you don't have to hit me with your tray. Even so. <laughs> don't talk back to me. You know the rules of Seagull Restaurant. Always keep the kitchen clean. Come on, I have work to do. Out you go. Oh, I think his mom's actually really cool. My little troublemaker. Oh. You could at least help if you're going to be in the kitchen. Hello, Aunt Lily. If you keep whacking Justin's head, he's gonna get stupid. <laughs> Don't worry, Sue. That was Justin's that was some dialogue. Brain can't get any worse than it already is. Oh my God. Mom. Brutal. I'm hurt. That's monstrous. How can you say such things about your only darling son. Oh my God, he's such a <laughs> scam. Well, why don't you just be good so I don't have to, you hmm, Justin? I've been getting in trouble all day today. Oh my goodness. All right. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Guess we go up to my room, while this fucking weird girl that I'm friends with is just following me around. I guess. Oops, I almost forgot. Kept some money hidden in here. I'm glad mom didn't see this. She's always saying waste not, want not. Yeah, this is it. Gotta have this on an adventure. An adventure can't be forgetting such an important thing. 
First aid kit. Oh, that's legitimately important. They threw through cat. Oh, oh, don't throw cats. That's horrible. I feel sorry. Sort of sorry about what I did. So I've been thinking next time only one cat at a time. Yeah, I really did think about what I did. Totally considered it. I had money here. Oh, yeah, I already got it. Does my money always run out so fast? Dude. You're like 12, man. Your finances are not exactly like stellar. What is this extra dimension? Oh, it is literally an extra dimensional space. All right. Cool. <sighs> Oh man, these these yawns are just. You hit me again. Justin, now just what were you doing today? Listen, Justin, I won't get mad, so tell me the truth. Oh yeah, you will. I mean, even if you tell the truth, you still get mad all the time. Don't give me that. Have you ever really told me the truth? Come now, tell me straight. What exactly were you doing today? Uh, uh, we'll be honest. Been busy since morning, all day, had a lot of things to do. I don't have any time to do any of the things you're worried about, Mom. Hmm, if you were so busy, what were you doing? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I just forgot. It's so long. Oh my god, always the bonking. You forgot? It was just today. Okay, uh, and, uh, I guess... Now, the whole purpose of that was that I get bonked. Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing? Do I just hang out with my mom some more? Just tell me the truth about what you did today, Justin. <laughs> That's none of your business. Okay. Sue, back me up. I wasn't doing anything. Just, just ask Sue. Even I can't get her into mistress every day, right? Is that right, Sue? Well, that's right, Aunt Lily. Justin didn't do anything bad today. You gotta believe me. Really? Y yeah. I mean, he wasn't nearly as bad as the day before yesterday. God damn it. <laughs> I thought so. Didn't I tell you to tell the truth? I just can't believe this kid. You listening? I don't know what you did, but don't get into mischief that gets other people angry. Come on, let's have dinner. I tried out a new dish. Why, why don't you join us, Sue? But is it okay eating here every day? Didn't I tell you before? You can eat here whenever you want. Both of you, come upstairs. So this is a this is a thing in this. Is, so funny enough, this is actually the only game in the Grandia franchise I haven't played. I've played two and three, uh, and this is a thing in in all the Grandia games where they have these uh, dinner scenes where you can kind of uh, get some character exposition. It's a really cool, fun little feature. I am so sorry. Oh man. Oh okay. Today, the curator of the museum came to have lunch here. Funny, he always brings a sack lunch. Oh, yeah, he asked me to tell you something important. He wants you to go over to the museum tomorrow. He said he wants to return something that you left with him. Hope it's not some of that junk again. So you can basically talk to different people at, at dinner. Oh man, the, 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 the tabletop will end, Wiki? I've been running so much, I'm starving. That was a real adventure, huh? But you know, my ancestors had much greater adventures. Look at their pictures on the wall. Justin, is that your dad, the one on the end? Sure is. Someday I'll put my own picture there along with the rest, right next to dad picture. Yeah, I'm really hype about Woolen being a thing maybe again. Can I try guessing what you left with the curator? Was it the spirit stone from your dad? Oh, nice, okay. Yeah, I mean, I would love to to do something. All right, it looks like my chat setup's not the way I want. Let me let me fiddle with that real fast like change it back to the recommended. Change this back to the recommended dimensions. Your dad was not the kind of man to lie, but that being a spirit stone. You know, when I first met him, he always wore it around his neck. 
was really special to him. Wow, G can you tell me about how you and Justin's dad first met, please? Well, we first met on board a ship, on a night with no moon or waves. It was a very quiet night. You hear that, Justin? It was a quiet night on the sea. How romantic! But suddenly, pirates appeared and took over your dad's ship in the wink of an eye. Whoa, a terrifying turn of events. Come on, what happened then? The leader of the band of pirates got a look at the spirit stone that your dad wore around his neck. The pirate drew a sword and said, Give me that stone! But your dad obstinately refused. Ah, that's just like dad. What happened then? Struck by the courage of your dad, the pirate leader decided to give up being a pirate on the spot. Quiet, Justin. I want to hear what Aunt Lily has to say. Pirate that attacked dad, what was he like? Maybe a strong man of the sea type? Do the archer thing, it has lead arrows, basically hunker down and cover battlefield sniper, high damage, high block. Uh, look at Malicious Wasp. Um, it's one of the like higher quality homebrews, and it's all about like mobility archery style. Um, I'll talk to you more about it off stream, but also you should look at the six great Confucian values, one of which is archery. You could play a Confucian gentleman with eight learned gentlemen as your internal style and some sort of archery style, and that would be really appropriate. <laughs> oh, well, the pirate was a girl just your age, a beauty named Lily the Skull. I've heard that name somewhere. Lily, Lily, wait a second. That's you. <laughs> you finally noticed. I was pretty young then. I did a lot of things I regret. Oh, I never knew that you were a pirate, Aunt Lily, but it makes me admire you more. It's embarrassing, so don't go tell the neighbors, okay? I pretty much all know that anyway. Wow, Aunt Lily, so you are just a beautiful lady who's good at cooking, huh? When I grow up, I want to be just like you, Aunt Lily. All right. Huh? You don't want to eat anymore. If you want seconds, we've got plenty left. Yeah, let's get seconds. You have anything else to say? Nope. Okay. Cool, so we're gonna be done. I'm full. That was delicious. I'm full. Say, Justin, we're going to see the curator tomorrow, right? Don't forget. Good morning, Justin. Are you ready to go? Oh, and this one, this is when they would expect me to get the first aid kit and the... Uh... Yep, all right. So I'm good. Hey, you see chat now. Yeah, I, I expanded the size of the uh, browser, browser source so that it should be a little more uh, comprehensible. <laughs> So since the last time I was doing streaming, I've, I've learned a lot about encoding and stuff, so I think we'll have a much more stable, high-quality stream in general. Hey, Justin. Could you tell me what today's lunch set is? Oh, yeah. Today's special is the surprise mushrooms pasta. Coming up, one daily special. Uh, didn't exactly order yet. But it's all good here, so hey, why not? Ah, Justin, you get to eat this wonderful food every day. You're a lucky fellow. Yes, sirree. Mom's food is just the best. Uh, but, uh, what is this made of? Yeah, it's Longhorn Sea Caterpillars. <laughs> Caterpillars? Yeah, well, it tastes good, right? <laughs> Delicious, but odd. But delicious. All right. Um, wait, why is my there we go. Viewer list does not stay populated very well. I don't like it. My god! Three viewers! Unlimited power! Oh, there's no game sounds on my phone's Twitch? Uh, it says that I'm outputting desktop audio. Is anyone... You get... Are, oh, that's awkward. I'm gonna keep playing because it says I'm outputting it. But... That's, like, super awkward if we've gone this whole way without game sounds. <laughs> there's also not a, not a lot of sounds in the game, which might be it, too. Hey, little soup. Looking cute today, too. You're going to be the quite you're, you're, you're quite the talk of the town. You're going to be quite a beauty. I think you're right. <laughs> uh, Sue, shouldn't you turn red and say no, not at all or something? Uh, but it's true. 
Justin, what do you think Miss Lily likes? Can you tell me? Uh, I'm not really sure. I just look over the menu. Mom likes almost anything. <clears throat> not about food. Oh, forget it. Hmm? If not food, then what? What would mom like other than food? Huh? Your face is turning red. Ah, I've been waiting for this. Factory work really wears you out, but Lily's food just makes my day. Yeah, mom's food's really good for you and gives you strength. So you have some really bad BO. Oh, what? Oh, think so? <laughs> oh, hey, you're right. But, uh, you know, this is a manly smell. <laughs> what is it, Justin? I'm busy, so don't bother me. Or do you want to help out here? Where'd you learn such sweet talk? I'm busy, so if you're not gonna get, if you're not gonna help, then get out of the kitchen. He's brutal. He just does not take shit from me. Let's save, baby. Save a Rooney. Save a Rooski. But yeah, I mean, if anyone else is having this no game data problem, that's that's super not okay. So. You guys, please let me know if you're having that same problem where you're not hearing the game and uh, game volume stuff. Alright. Where is the where's the museum? This is Sue's house. Herbs, weapons, armor, we have everything for you. Yeah, fair enough. I'm not sure. I mean, the, the viewer count's hard to tell who is and isn't here. Um, can we equip some of the stuff that we found earlier? We totally can. <laughs> it's all worse than what I already have. <laughs> Mama amulet and dress shoes, sneakers, and hero badge. All right, so all the different treasures are basically useless. And that's the store. All right, so we want this. It. This wonderful station was built here in Palm thanks to our Jewel Foundation. If it weren't for this railroad, the development of this town would have been delayed by ten years. Ah, that Jewel Foundation is amazing. Places with money really do have money. But Justin, you don't have a penny in your name. Sue, you you need to stop nagging me. This kid's gonna have fucking self-esteem issues when he grows up. Hey, the inventor, I should say I did. Because I'm the only guy who does that. Bad face. Oh my god. Music is dope. Ah, it's you, Justin. Are you here to interrupt my invention work again? I know it's supposed to be Scottish, but I can't do that. <laughs> hey, why not? You don't have anything better to do, right? Don't worry, sir. I'll make sure Justin doesn't bother you. Eh, since you're here, I don't mind if you have a look at all my inventions. I really want you to look around. A steam engine food processor cuts up all the ingredients for you. Culinary tool of the future. Fortunately, it's hard to get it to cut only the ingredients and not the cutting board, too. Ah, ah. Okay, he's definitely Scottish. Ugh, as you see. Uh, her only drawback is that she cuts up the cutting boards. You just fucking said that. A fatal drawback? I mean, yes. Really horrifying. Mr. Inventor, what's this machine used for? It keeps blowing out hot air. That's what I call me a hair dryer. I use steam power to make hot air to dry your hair. I keep making prototypes, but they all have some sort of soup mixed into that hot air. I don't think that's the problem. All this hot air will just burn your hair off. That's me steam engine clock. Telling time with steam power. The ultimate extravagance. Too bad you gotta keep choking with coal or it immediately stops working. Wow, these are all pretty useless inventions, bro. Uh, Alright, so here's my guess. 65 hours into the game, we need him to make us something. I guess. Yeah, museum. I didn't come to play. I had to get something back that I left with the curator. Huh. Then I hear that strange stone shard your dad had was a spirit stone? Yeah, that's right. Nobody believes it, though. 
I'm sure the curator will prove that it's the real thing. Welcome to the Great General Ball Museum, dedicated to the advancement of national archaeology. Oh, it's Justin and Sue. Welcome. Have you come to talk to the curator? Yes, bye. Is he not here? Recent history, Parm. Ah, Jewel Foundation dominates Parm economy with high technology and coercive tactics? Ah, what junk. Just can't stand these boring books. Let's see. According to the latest theory, man can fly if he makes good use of machines. What a flying machine? Yeah, it'd be cool if I could make one. It'd be easy to get to the new world. As a small fishing harbor that was Parm grew into today's portal to the new continent, advancements and steam engines have also made the factories prosper. Most of the Jewel Factory where I work, I say this not because I work there. Bet he says it just because he works there. The economic development of Parm is inseparable from the presence of the modern jewel factories. I can feel the prosperity of Parm every time I see the chimneys along the city streets. I think they're just a nuisance. Steam engine, the greatest technology known to man, essential for trains, steamships, and factories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. This book's different from the others. Broke the statue again for the third time. I don't think anyone will notice if I don't say anything. This is the curator's diary. The curator broke the statue! Awkward. You gonna try to pin it on me? I don't trust him. I'm on guard. Don't fuck with me, curator. Hmm. I can tell that he broke it. Hi, Mr. Curator. Hello, Mr. Curator. Oh, you came at just the right time. Look, Justin. It's a new Icarian statue. I just finished its restoration. Wow, is this a statue of an Icarian? Never seen this type. Yes, when I checked it with Godlyle, it seems this was found at the Dom Ruins on the New Continent of Valencia. Oh wow, the Dom Ruins, huh? Uh, the biggest ruins on the New Continent of Valencia. I'd like to go. I bet you would. I bet you would. Yes, that's what uh, it's what you look for that makes you a man, Justin. According to the Angelo myths told in Parm, Icarians use the power of spirit stones to create a dream world. Stories are told of floating cities and ships that travel to the stars. Steam engines that run forever. Spirit sanctuary frozen in time. Great immortal priests who never age. Are you guys finished yet? Sorry, Sue. We'll be through in a minute. Okay, but just a minute. After all, I am a very understanding woman, right? <laughs> uh, yet, if we consider these utopian fantasies apart from myths, these Icarians must have been thought of as kings who possessed great power. Archaeologically, that much is certain. Archaeologically, these kings must have created the spirits and spirit stones in order to justify their presence. Uh, that's not very interesting. Archaeology has no romance. <laughs> Sorry about that. I like dreamy stories myself. Ah, Justin, I guess you get bored when ancient myths become research. Oh, that's right. I can't quite get in the mood today. Might all have been true, right? That's right, Justin. I cannot prove that it is not all true. Oh no, I almost forgot. It's about the so-called spirit stone left by your dad. So you examined it for me. I bet it was real. <laughs> I can't tell if it is real or fake. Though, to begin with, those spirit stones only exist in myths. I tried to do a chemical analysis of the stone, but I couldn't. It's harder than diamond, so I gave up. Harder than diamond? Really? Until I think of another way to analyze it, I'll give it back. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Spirit stone acquired. Oh, if you like, why don't you try analyzing it, Justin? I'll give you some hints. When you're finished looking at the statue, come to my office. I have something for you. <laughs> Dude, this statue is going to fall over the moment I fucking breathe on it. Guaranteed. 100%. 100 fucking percent chance that it just falls over. The curator has hope for me. Mysteries of the ancient civilization. Justin the adventurer will solve them. The legendary Icarian statue discovered at the Dom Ruins. Huh. I can picture that. Justin, I'm amazed you knew that the Dom Ruins are the largest ruins on the new continent of Valencia. Of course I know, an adventurer needs to know lots of things. But you know, no fun just listening to other people's adventure stories. 
Valencia is awaiting you with mountains of exciting things. Hehehe. <laughs> Just look. I don't like making me nervous. Someday I'll find the Angelo that no one else has been able to discover. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> what are you doing, Justin? Puff, 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 puff. <laughs> no, just, 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 just calm down. Oh, the only thing to do is fix it. Come on, Sue, help me. No way, it won't work. We should just be honest and apologize. I can't do it. You saw how happy the curator looked when he restored the statue. I can't tell him. I remember what it looked like. You, you sure that's right? I think it looked a little different. Maybe, but it's uh, like 70% right, don't you think? On a test, that's a passing grade, right? That's not the point, Justin. Why the, why, what was with the wobble cam there? Why did that happen? <laughs> All right, let's go to the curator. Oh, here it is. I keep was keeping it in my pocket, so I'd always be ready to give it to you and see your smiling face. <laughs> oh, Mr. Curator, are you getting senile in your old age? <laughs> ah, you're never at a loss for words. Anyway, I just heard a loud crash. Did something happen? <clears throat> what do we do, Sue? Think we should tell him the truth, maybe? You figure it out. I don't know what to do. Come on, say something, or he'll know something's wrong. I'm gonna admit it. <laughs> oh, Justin, you are a joker. You broke the statue I just finished repairing. My poor heart couldn't take it. But because I had the jokes, I have something good for you. Cool, what is it? Ha <laughs> ha my present to you is this. Letter of introduction acquired. The Garlisle forces are searching the salt ruins again. I arranged for two people to visit. Wow, really? Thank you, Mr. Curator. Isn't this just great, Justin? You kept saying that you wanted to go to the salt ruins. Puff, puff. I'm just happy to see your faces. Share this letter of introduction and the army will let you visit. Justin, go, go find out for yourself if the Spirit Stone is real or not. Looks different from the others. Yeah, he broke the statue, so I don't have to fucking... Yeah. I don't have to feel bad about it. I don't feel bad about it. It's the statue's fate, you see. Let me see. Let me try something real quick. Do 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 do. Yeah, it looks a little better, I think. All right. Look. Ugh, oh, this fucking statue. Justin, there's still something wrong. I oh, don't worry. I know a little about the Angelo civilization. They have a saying. Not illegal unless you get caught. See ya! made it. You think we got away clean? Oh, the Arcarian statue. I just finished fixing it. Oh shit. I mean, uh oh, we're in deep stuff. Now, what do we do now? You think we should go back and apologize straight out? Maybe the curator will forgive. Who was it? Who did this? Now I have to work day and night to fix it all over again. Nope, no way. If we go back now, he'll take back the letter of introduction for sure. You're right. I feel bad about the curator, but let's come back and apologize later. We should probably go talk to our mom about going to another fucking continent. A 
feel like that's something she'll have like a, a stake in. What is it, Justin? I'm busy, so don't bother me. Or do you want to help out? Justin, you have an appetite. Ah, it's almost ready, so just hang on. Sure, wh Sue, why don't you eat with us? Sue, why don't you eat with us? I think it's better. It's dinner time. Justin and Sue, have you washed your hands? Did you have the curator tell you if your spirit stone is real or not? What did he say? What's the result? Well, the curator said that even he didn't know. But you know what? I'm going to prove it. That this spirit stone is real. With that letter of introduction, we can go to the salt ruins, right? You can't wait, Justin. You betcha. There's got to be lots of stuff just waiting to be found. I get excited just thinking about it. Tomorrow you have to remember to get up early, oversleep, and you'll be left behind. That's the spirit. You really are starting to remind me of your father. Your dad was the kind of person who had to see things with his own eyes. Just like you, right now. Oh, so my mom just does not give a fuck. Anyway, Justin, did you tell Aunt Lily about the Icarian statue? Like, oh, no, come on. I've got a secret from Mom. Promise, 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 promise. What are you two talking about? Let me in on it too. No, no, don't tell. Say that we're having a meeting about the adventure tomorrow, right, Sue? Well, Justin, maybe you can buy me some ice cream next time, okay? Then I won't tell about the statue. Uh, ice cream? Okay, it's a deal. But you have to keep quiet. And that's the same one. Okay. Bedtime, bedtime, bedtime. Good morning, Justin. Are you ready to go? Wait, that's not the right voice. What the fuck? She just aged like 20 years overnight. Oh, good morning, Justin. Ah. Let's fucking do it. We should save first. Save Aruni. One hour of Grandia so far, and we're still in the exposition phase. Uh, old, old JRPGs, man. Fucking merciless. Just... Merciless. So, um, maybe this is foolish for my viewership, but, uh, those of you who are on, like, the East Coast, in the Atlanta area, like me, if you are one of those people, the eclipse is starting soon. Oh, okay, so this actually isn't on another continent. That's why it's not as weird. This one's on the same continent. That makes much more sense. Now it's just a cross-country road trip with no adult supervision. Uh, I just saved. And Monster encounters. Touching a monster starts combat. You may get an advantage in combat depending on how the monster is touched. You really didn't translate that right. It is advantageous to touch the rearmost of a group of monsters. Also, take note of monster colors. If a monster is not yet shining red, it has not seen you yet. If you touch a monster before you are seen, you have the initiative. Try approaching from out of view. You can also be ambushed and have a disadvantage if a monster touches an ally from the back. All right, um, so you want me to view my techniques, Heiss? Uh, okay, I will! Ah! Okay, so are these like weapon proficiency levels, I guess? So, okay, since we have a sword and we have sword level one, Oh, so leveling up different weapon types levels your stats up? Whoa, okay. So in order to get my second weapon skill, I need to get level 6 sword and level 4 mace, or level 6 sword or level 4 mace? Assuming it's and. She uses maces and bow. Okay, that's kind of cool, actually. That's a kind of cool, like, system. 
Okay. Ah, so this is probably a mace type weapon, isn't it? Makes sense. Starting to make sense. So she could use the pole instead if I wanted to level Mace up. But we'll keep on the defaults for now and we'll worry about fiddling with it maybe after he gets level 6 in Sword. I touched it from behind. Yeah, I was just mentioning that the, uh, the Eclipse should be happening for us. Um, I... We'll probably pause, or maybe just end the stream early today. I'll probably pause and come back. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably pause and come back. So, we are going to head to the Salt Ruins by ourselves. Because that's something that children should do. Solo archaeology trips. Bum, bum, bum. Um, Alright, let's try and show off the critical mechanic this time, especially because he's using an action. So you'll see Justin's going to go over here. I don't know if it's actually going to turn out the right way. God, this camera's so jittery. It's killing me. Um, but see, Justin, if his critical hit hits that A Scorpion, you see how the A Scorpion got returned back to the beginning and we got a cancel prompt? Um, that is because we actually canceled Scorpion A's action by killing him, or not killing him, by hitting him with a, a critical uh, attribute effect during the fifth segment of the action bar. All um, right, we won. This is, honestly, I actually think it's my favorite, like, initiative slash ATB style system in any JRPG. Um, use your special moves, you get more weapon points. Okay, I'll, I'll check that as well. I know that in Grandia 2, when you max out your basic special move, it becomes an instant cast cancel, which... You know, is fucking ridiculous for obvious reasons. Um, does this game have a running fucks you over in terms of sneaking up on bad guys mechanic like some other drippages? I, I don't know. I don't know! Alright, well, um, I'm gonna follow Mr. Peacecraft's suggestion. Also, I don't know if the basic moves actually have a cancel property like they do in Ground Day 2, so we're gonna find out! Well... That went way faster anyway, so. Okay, and he does have to move before he begins executing the move. That's another difference from uh, two. Alright, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna go sword to sword with this guy. I think we're faster. There we go. We are faster. <laughs> what a cinch. It's just a great mechanic because some of the bosses later become so fucking deadly that you basically have to mans master that canceling mechanic if you want any chance of actually having a chance. And those fights, fuck. Dude, I got juked by those bugs so hard. Ooh. The, the ambush combat music's better than the normal combat music. I, I should get ambushed all the time. I don't think we can stop that, so we're just gonna do this. Uh, is defending instant like the other ones? I think it is. Let's hope she's targeting. Nope, not targeting Sue anyway. Oh, cancel counter. Fucking wrecked. Let's see if we can get the counter bonus. If you hit enemies while they're executing a thing, you also deal a small amount of bonus damage to them. Um, which is cumulative with the critical property. This would be a fun, like, board All game right, or, like, tabletop won. game system, actually. Uh, Exalted 2nd Edition wasn't too dissimilar to that. I like how the main character is literally just better than her in every way. I mean, he is a level higher, but still. And then again, I guess she is literally a little girl. Like, not figurative, but literally. Um, we'll have him attack B. The other thing I like about this is, like, it makes every fight at least somewhat engaging, because, like, even if you don't have to necessarily think in order to win, 
there's like a small reward for optimizing in every fight, which keeps you kind of invested, which is nice. Ra Ra Chant. I have to try Ra Ra Chant. Yeah, baby. Um, so other things I learned recently, this actually thanks to Sornus who told me this, um, because we have this existing channel, uh, that already has 73 followers, as long as we stream consistently over the next month and get at least three average concurrent viewers, uh, we can actually move Pixel Pals up to, um, affiliate status, like, in a month, which is really cool, because that means you guys would be able to use bits and I'd be able to get some custom emotes, which I think, uh, Jewish Lightning will be our custom emote. You guys, let me let me know what you think it should be, but I'm pretty sure Jewish Lightning has to be it. Um, I, oh my god, is there any Jewish Lightning in, in Grandia? Don't tell me, Ace. If there is Jewish Lightning, I want to find it on my own. That's just, that's something a man has to discover. Walking his own path. Um, what are her moves, dude? Does she have any AoE or anything? Attack one enemy, restore some HP to the party. Meh. I guess we're just gonna blap blap motherfuckers. Oh man, he's so close to being able to one hit these guys reliably. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, she got uh she got dizzied. Okay, so he can one shot them now that he leveled up. Oh my god, this camera though is fucking Oh, Jesus. Um, so she's close to leveling up her bow as well, but she did just straight up actually level up, so that's nice. Okay. Standard fight. Oh, but I didn't hit him from behind! It doesn't make sense! Alright, whatever. Uh, has he regenerated all his SP yet? Nope. We want to keep him on roughly full SP because I just don't know. Since we're playing blind, I just really don't know when, like, a boss is going to show up and be like, Hey! Let's fight! Okay, throw. Apparently, bows use the throw what skill. It's probably they didn't just call it range because that would make a lot more sense, you know? So, yeah, I know it says 12P to 3P, but we're just going to fucking go for it. We're just going to keep on going. Gonna keep on keeping on. Probably play till around four or so. Uh, and then hopefully in a month or so, if we manage to hit the affiliate status, I'll probably start streaming significantly more, uh, depending on what our average concurrent viewership looks like. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I, I lost my job recently, so doing a lot of stuff like this. And uh, I, I'm fine putting more time into it versus making YouTube content, which is another thing I've gotten into. But I'm only going to be willing to do that if we can, you know, if, if there are some people here. But uh, we'll probably keep to the 12 to 3 time slot at least for now uh, and see where that takes us. I like the song. The music in this game is fucking dope, though, for real. Uh, I'll probably actually set my lights up in the future, too. We actually recently got a DSLR camera, though I don't intend to use that for streaming because that's just fucking overkill, frankly. Um, but that does mean the YouTube videos content we make is going to look way better, which is really exciting. I uh, might actually start doing game reviews as well. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. I got you, Ace. It's all right. Also, the hearts can be taken as sympathy for, for job stuff. It's, it's not a big deal. My, uh... Not a place where just anyone can come. Do you have proper identification? Can't pass through here empty handed. Say, Justin, show him the letter of introduction from the curator and he'll let us in. Whoop, 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 whoop. Who goes there? There's no place for children. Hang on, look at this. An intro letter from the curator. What? Oh, it is. What could that curator be thinking giving this letter to such children? Eh, don't worry about that. Just let us in, okay? Hmm. Ah, well. You can go in. Yeah, baby. 
Attention. Oh. Soldiers fall in. Oh shit, she's a bad guy. For sure. Listen up. After traveling all the way from the new continent, we won't tolerate failure. There's just nowhere for my fucking face to go on the screen. Meet at the stage on level one. I would basically have to be like here by regiment to not be in the way of anything. <laughs> We're gonna stay over here. <laughs> right face, march. Double time. Jesus Christ, these guys are brutal. Stay stocky. What's this music? Your who made us late. What is this music? Aren't you a little lax on discipline? She sounds Don't like a dominatrix. Why is this music so cheerful? The last time they were late, I made them all give me three thousand swats. Oh, Saki, you're such a muscle freak. What the fuck is happening? I'd make them go without rations for a hundred days. Oh my God, oh, you're a fucking monster. If it were me, I'd give him 5,000 lashes. What the then fuck is happening? And give him 100 days in the brig. <laughs> that would kill him. These young women if are mad with power. That, he'd have your head. Her, her, all right. No problem. I did I not know this game was going to contain would never be the wiser. <laughs> somebody who's going to go by her anything. That's not something that I knew was going to happen. Come on. So... We need to get going too. Awkward. Or we'll be late for the rendezvous. Right, Mio. If we were to be late, it'd be hard to discipline the truth. Alright. Here we go. This actually has like, a, is this like a Skies of Arcadia feel? Which, fuck, I should play that game on here. Say, Justin, how's little Gantz doing? Be good to him, okay? Oh, sh sure, Gantz. Of course I'm good to him. Uh, right, Sue? Uh, yeah, sure, you're being really good to him. Right, Puffy? Puff, puff, puff. Promising new recruit has signed up and it's pretty exciting. Name's Gantz, he's from Parm. Always smiling and in good spirits, he never complains about orders from superiors, and he does anything you ask. Guys like that get promoted. Reminds me of myself back then. Wow, so you are a wonderful person too? Okay, so we're gonna have to kill Gaunts after the game does a time skip 20 years in the future. I've never played this game before, so if these guesses are right or wrong, just don't tell me. Let me find out. Oh, I should make a bot command where it remembers all my weird predictions. Let me put that on my to-do list. Hey, you know, I've been thinking about it. What do you think Colonel Mullen is ducking for? It must be something important that he doesn't want anyone else to see. He'd be in trouble if it's seen. Alright, that's gotta be it. So what do you think it is? Maybe a time capsule that he buried when he's a child. That'd be embarrassing, right? Uh, I guess. That would just make you seem like a little bit of a nerd. I've been in the army for a while, but this is my first ruins lookout duty. The world has become so peaceful. The Garlisle forces used to be a group of brave men, boy. Uh, yeah, that's right. The soldiers and stories are all so cool. All right, and we're just gonna let that guy continue going nowhere with his life. Uh, da -dun -dun. I see a save point down there, which tells me I need to probably go down there. Who are you? Colonel Mullen is particularly strict about assignments, but he can be nice too. He's even considerate to low-ranking soldiers like us. Under a leader like that, you're more likely to come back from war. Ah, broke again this month. Maybe if I worked hard like Colonel Mullen, they'll raise my pay. So, is Colonel Mullen a wonderful man? Of course. The son of General Ball, he's a well-bred, handsome young man. Brain and body, he's the best. But way different from Justin, who couldn't do anything without me. Rude. Oh, so boring. Nothing to do in some boondock ruins. Getting bored is even more tiring. Couldn't even get up today. I was way too late. Just like Justin. Justin couldn't do anything. I didn't you just say that? Huh? Oh, did you say something? Just boring me to sleep. Oh, 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 I gotta be a serious. And then that guy lost his job. Well, don't be wandering around here. If you're found by General Ball, we'll get chewed out. General Ball. 
of the Ball Museum, that guy? You got some nerve to ask in such a situation, but I'll tell you anyway. I don't know much, but he has some connection with the Jewel Foundation and seems to be feared. Okay, thanks, thanks, exposition man. I wish I could go on leave, and that my head wasn't stuck in this rock. Then I'd go back to town and have some coffee at the cafe. One cup after work just tastes so good. Then I could shake off this fatigue. The girl next to me was Lieutenant Lean, it'd be excellent. Ah, oh, that dreamy expression of hers. Your tongue is hanging out, sir. What a weirdo. I heard the three sergeants above us are beauties and nice people, but that's completely wrong. They certainly are beautiful and capable, but their personalities, ah, hard-headed and strict. It's shootout every day. <laughs> I'm completely disappointed. Sir, don't you get shoot out because of your attitude? You ought to look sharp. Jeez, Sue, you're not very nice. <clears throat> I'm in charge of Salt Ruins, so I am very high-ranking. Uh, is a person in charge so high-ranking? Don't be silly, of course. I was put in charge by Colonel Mullen himself. He made Colonel at such a young age. No soldier is more capable than Colonel Mullen. I was appointed by him. Huh? Kids? Oh, why are you two in such a place? No civilians are supposed to be here. The curator of the museum gave us a letter of introduction. Said we'd learn something? Oh, came here to learn? I just hated studying when I was a kid. Wow, you two? Sir, I think you will understand. I really came here for adventure. Alright. This is when they start hating us, right? How could children be here? How'd you get into the salt ruins? Say, say, the ruins are underground, right? Uh, can I see them? Take us there. How suspicious. Who are you? I show no mercy, even to kids. Now answer! Uh, we came to visit the salt ruins. Hey, look, we got a letter of introduction from the curator of the Ball Museum. Letter of introduction. This? Hmm? I guess. It does look real. See, we're not suspicious at all, so take us underground with you. Underground? Huh. Alright. But first, just show me that letter of introduction. Don't do it, Justin! No. Rip, 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 rip. Yeah, I called it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Bye-bye. Wow. Dicks? See? No more letter of introduction. Now you twerps are intru illegal intruders, maybe? maybe? That's right. Now we must catch the intruders, torture them, and execute them. But since you are children, we'll overlook this just once. Leave the salt ruins at once. Come, let's go. Saki, Mio, there's no time to be bothering with these kids. Jesus Christ! How awful! Who do they think they are? Anyway, Justin, oh well, let's just go home. No way, Sue. An adventurer can't back down now. Oh, fuck. Justin, you really want to go down? Didn't you hear what those three said? I did, but ah, oh, they're so secretive. There's got to be something here. They practically told us that there are secrets. An adventurer can't ignore that. Oh, Justin. But you know, I thought it would come to this. Yo, can we get a save point though? Yo, can a homie get a save point though? Alright, I'm gonna go back outside. Let me head back. Let me, let me head back. Uh, there's a save point. I knew I saw one earlier. I just didn't visit it. Is the uh, is the audio balance all right? I turned the game audio down a little bit because I wanted to make sure it wasn't drowning out my voice. So you guys, you guys, tell me whether or not it sounds all right. Save the game. Most excellent. Sounds great. Awesome. Thank you. In we go. Garlisle 
force. Mullen Company, fall in. Oh, there's Face lean. forward. Salt Ruin Special Survey Team. Roll call. Squad leaders, front and center. Sergeant Nana, leader of the Bloody Rose Squad reporting. Jesus Christ. Sergeant Saki, leader of the Lightning Star Squad. All men accounted for. Sergeant Mio, leader of the Desert Moon Squad. All men present. Colonel Mullen will now address the troops before deployment. Ah, damn. All soldiers, listen carefully. I'm listening. Yes, Lieutenant. My dear soldiers, our squad will now commence the final excavation of the Salt Ruins. Yeah, this guy's definitely Operation evil. Operation is entering the final stage. Nobody who says that word now we only in that to context is a good guy in, in a JRPG. Piece. I need to remind you that the depths of these it's ruins not are dangerous. Something you should fuck with. You may even be risking your life. However, this is our time. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I do like the trope you, of the bad guy who gives a shit about his guys, forces. though. Like, I actually like Bring that. A great boon to humanity. Oh, jeez. Go! You, the elite of Garlisle, will open the door to the wisdom of the ancient Angelo civilization. Okay, so he's trying to, to get the ancient secrets that I'm trying to get. And we'll find out later why he wants that. I am counting Probably on not every anything one good. of you. Yes, sir! Oh my god, they're all super in love with him. Bloody Rose Squad, you take the east. Lightning Star Squad has the west. Desert Moon Squad, take the south. You have your assignments. All right. We're counting on you. Good luck. Yes, yes Oh, they don't love her. The time is 1506 hours. All squads have begun. Weird, operation. that's only four hours different, or four minutes different from the actual time in real life. Should have come back earlier. Also become quite an able aid to count. Huh? Oh. Why is everyone in love with this guy? Let me show you guys well, his face. Let's get to work ourselves. Let's go, Lean. Yes, sir. Justin, you hear that? Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds like something's here. Let's go, Sue. Money, 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 money. These faces have three eyes. That's kind of cool. All right, gotta fight some slimes. He does uh, a little bit. Fucking fishy looking ass. All right, well we should be at full, so let's try out the the puffy kick. I'm sorry, one second. The poofy kick. My bad. Gotta say the right thing. And we'll try V slashing this other guy. Puffy kick. Go do it! Oh, oh, what? What? Oh my god. Puffy whooped that guy's ass. V slash! Okay. Nice! That's exactly his hit point total. Damn. If he'd be coming for Sue, we probably could have gotten a perfect here. Welcome back, Soreness! Go, go, go! Hey, you see that? It was Colonel Mull in person. Wow, I finally saw him in person. What could there be in such out-of-the-way ruins? Hey, you hear, Sue? Sounds like something incredible's happening. Cool mechanic. Instead of having a map, we actually have map points, which kind of represent Justin's adventure adventure early abilities. Adventure early. Adventure abilities. I don't know. 
Okay, well, let's just beat these guys up because they're not very strong. Baby bats! A little surprised he didn't one shot that. I guess they have somewhat higher defense. If I had more properly sequenced my stuff, I wouldn't have had to lose those 4 HP. That was my bad. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! He's so cute. So like, I know you, you kind of casually mentioned earlier, Ace, that um, Sue gets older. Like how is it disc, I know this is a two disc game, is the time skip at the, the disc swap or, or did I misunderstand you or what? Or is it something else that you shouldn't tell me yet? <laughs> I should have teased those cute girls when they entered the academy. Did something happen? I started at the same time as those sergeants, but all of them got into advanced courses. Now they outrank me. Eh, those three, huh? Dude, these soldiers fucking suck, by the way. Foip? Okay. Fair enough. If Foip is the answer, I'm extra excited for it. Uh, for those who aren't initiated in, in uh, LARP Dragon, Foip is find out and play. Basically, don't want to spoil it, just wait and see what happens. This is gonna fall. Nope. Okay. What's this? What is this? What'd I get? What's a room? No, that's cool. I played it I played it like a few hours into it. I I, I certainly haven't finished it. By any means. Um slows IP loss. And gives one defense. So I'd lose two action, but it would slow IP loss. Probably want to do this. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, so this looks like the end of this path because that block fell. Oop. Oop. Okay. Let's explore up this way where these slimes are. Um, so he can just clear out the inside here. Oh shit, he can actually clear it out. This is gonna be awkward. Okay. Alright. Luckily, these guys are very slow. Yeah, so there's gonna be no stopping either of those. Who's he attacking? Whatever. I think we're faster. Yeah, alright. Stop it. So even uh, even when you don't land a cancel property attack, there is a um, basically a pausing of the initiative progression uh, that is elicited by dealing a blow. Just kind of cool. Yeah, it took a fair amount of damage here. I love the music in this game. To be real, even though that camera is making me a little motion sick. Hip hip hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Yeah, level three. Give that money. Oh shit. She is such an eyesore. That lean, why does she have to come along? Just when we got Tootie that gets us close to her mullen, she has to come spoil the mood. Yeah, she's always just next to her mullen. She just galls me. According to my calculations, Lean's career as an aide de camp is almost over. Mio, are you plotting something? Maybe thumbtacks and Lean's boots? Oh, no, a much more cunning plan. I will put something in her food that will make her hiccup incessantly. Oh, I love it. Her mullen is sure to look at Lean differently when she sees her when he sees her squawking like a goose. <laughs> yeah, there need to be there need to be some good foo 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 laughs there at the end. Come on, script writers, the fucking program. Yeah, the VA has some some problems, although it's still better than a lot of. Man, fuck you. 
It's still better than a lot of uh, video game voice acting. <laughs> I just don't get it. Everything we find is just junk. Can this stuff be worth anything? Just cut that out. You want to get demoted and stuck on guard duty like the guys up top? You're at the colonel. Save everything we find. No one wants your opinion. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I went too far. Jesus Christ. It does not have a, a, a great deal of courage, I suppose. Hey, did you hear? I say there's some strange statue in the deepest steps of this ruins. Yeah, but I have no clue what might be beyond that. I heard stories of ghosts. Ah, uh, perhaps. Perhaps. I wonder why the colonel would come out here himself. Hear that, Sue? Mysterious ghosts deep in the ruins. Yes, this is just so exciting. Think that newbie back there is okay? He beamed himself pretty bad. Uh, I'm worried, but it was clearly his own fault, going alone into the depths of the ruins. Colonel Mullen told him so many times that you never know what's going to happen in the ruins. I don't quite know, but looks like there's danger ahead. Heh, <laughs> but I'm okay with that. The last thing I remember happening is, like, having to clean some fucking lady ship. I don't know if I, that's even a thing that happens in this game, but that's about as far as I got. Your initiative. Baby Bat. Heaven or Hell. Fight. Yeah, and like placement has an important part in your tactics in this game too, which is really cool. So like in that case, I, I saved a little bit of initiative progression because I attacked the enemies just in its closest to you. Because you don't finish resolving your action and thus accumulating IP for your next action until you finish an action. Which means any traversal time you have between you and your target actually negatively impacts your, uh, I guess, uh, initiative optimization. It's cool. It's, it's a very... It's a system with a lot... Uh, it's very simple to understand with a lot of, of depth, and that's the kind of stuff I like. Hey, here's the shoes I missed. Why do I have to go to an entirely different screen to pick up items? That's obnoxious. Shinshu. Okay, so this is an upgrade for her. Nice. Okay, that was a, a nice little shortcut. I think it took us anywhere I care about, though. You think this is one of the best PS1 RPGs? That's a... That's only a bold statement because there are so many really good PS1 RPGs. I will say, however, Grandia 2 was one of, one of my formative games. Uh, I played the Dreamcast version, of course. Um, but there is a PC like re-release of it, so if we had a good time, I might uh, make that my next game after this. We shall see. I'm intending on shamelessly plagiarizing the way that uh, a streamer Soreness turned me on to, Marstead, who uh, I have on my auto-host on this channel, um, does it where basically people can vote on uh, stuff that they want me to play, and I'm, I'm probably just going to shamelessly steal that, that system. Probably whole cloth, to be honest. Thought I was gonna sneeze. False alarm. Odds of me sneezing very instantly at some point in like the next. Whoa. Jesus Christ, I need some fucking AoEs. Oh man. Um. We'll have her shoot the ones furthest away. And six of them? Five of them? Alright, luckily he one-shots. I say that, and then he failed the one-shot. Oh my god. The one next to her is the one that's at 1 HP, so we'll... Because he seems to one-shot on anything except the lowest damage roll. Or do 
that, and then this will delay him, and we might actually be able to evade by movement. Nope. Another thing you can do in this system, in this series, is you can, like, uh, move out of the way of attacks. It's usually not very reliable, but you can do it. So there's an item up here. Oh shit! Action. Okay. No. Nope. Oh, I fell. Oh dear. Okay. But at least we got this Rezu Potent. Damn, I was trying to get initiative on those, uh, bats. Uh, we should go ahead and try this Ra Ra thing. And he should go ahead and use a V Slash because I'm at full SP. That means I can get the extra, um, get the extra skill points out of it. Are you, are you fucking serious? That was awesome. You can do it, Soreness. I believe in you. There's a storage max for items. I do remember being annoyed by that when I played last time. No. Okay, excellent. That's good. Yeah! We did it! Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, that's useless. Okay, I need to obviously drop something on that. Uh, we've got over here. We've got a mixed monster encounter. It's the first one of these we've had in this playthrough, haven't we? Oh yeah, achievement unlocked. Mixed race bloodshed. And in context, that makes sense. Um, he can one-shot both baby bats, so we'll send him over there. I suspect that... Oh, she can't puffy kick, so... Um, let's see. If we crit a green slime, it'll probably knock it back enough that we can kill it before it gets a turn. Oh yeah, if you crit something and it doesn't do the interrupt, these are the times when I need a quote bot. You know what, man? Teach me how to fucking set that up. Send me a link and I will set one up. Uh, another thing, uh, entering the defense state is an instantaneous action. There is absolutely no execution time involved. Um, which means that if you like are literally about to get hit, as long as your turn comes up and you hit defend, you will enter the defense state. Uh, again, assuming that it works like Grandia 2. Fuck, I have no idea. Awesome. <laughs> Okay. So, da -da 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 -da, quote bot. That also, quote bot, prediction bot. Those go on my to do list for after the stream ends today. <laughs> I guess that's true. You just spend a lot more time watching streams than I do, so there's always a chance that you've absorbed some knowledge that I don't have yet. That's, that's kind of why I ask you those questions. Can I poofy kick? 
Slide out of a puffy kick, instant kills a green slime. And I'm 90% sure V slash will instant kill a green slime. Right, and because it's random and scattered, that's why I, I just, you know, kind of spray and pray. Puppy kick do it? No, it does not. Make that call, you can do it! Go for ham! Ooh, rough. He, okay, he's coming for Sue, which is actually really good. I can probably set this critical up. It looks like they're all coming for Sue. Nice. That turned out really well, actually. <laughs> yeah, get at it. All right, we won. The normal camera isn't bad. It's just the camera in combat is is just it's just too like it's all the fucking time. So let me uh, let me get your opinion, Ace. Since you're you're technically you're the veteran uh, Pixel Pal stream watcher, do you think I should stick to just kind of playing the same game every day, or should I do a format where I kind of cycle through stuff throughout the week so that it's it's kind of fresh? Or like, do you have any suggestions as to the format? I would be curious to know. Because I know, like, at the height of when we were doing Pixel Pals last year, we were getting up to, like, an average of, like, 10 to 12 concurrent viewers, like, during, uh, Suikoden and things like that. And I bet if I played more popular old JRPGs, like Final Fantasies, I could probably get significantly more, like, peoples. No! I fucked up. Go slow. Time. Get that axe. Yes! Yes, rock axe. You know what? It's 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 an actual weapon, unlike a wooden sword. So. I appreciate that it is only one attack higher than a wooden sword, <laughs> even though it is made of something hard. Yeah, BOF we got seven or so. The height of Suikoden we were getting, we actually had like ten to twelve. So like. Clearly there's some merit to this format, but I'm wondering, maybe we could attract a few more people if we did more like a variety stream, right? But I guess that goes back to people voting on what to play, right? Like, hmm, nothing happens. It's quite suspicious though. Very unnatural to just be a statue. I think it's best to report it to Herr Mullen. Yeah, I think you're right, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, where'd we hide? Ah, very good. Oh, that was close. If we didn't hide so quick, we would've been busted. Recover. Saved a game. Saved a game. Boop, boop. All right, 3.30, I think we have time to play through to like one more save point and actually get to the uh, at a climax of this sub area. It's supposed to be the statue that the soldiers were talking about. That looks suspicious. Spirit stone, baby. Justin! Oh, what was that? J Justin, your bottom is shining. Uh, what? Oh, it's my pocket. Could it be the spirit stone inside? The spirit stone is. Oh, I've never seen this before. Wow, is it hot, Justin? Bing, 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 What? I like how the inside is all skullsy. Yeah, use big moves to go to recovery. That makes sense. If you're, you could probably farm if you were nearby a respawning monster with a recovery point. So this statue was a door. Seems like we can go further down here. But why did it open? Was it the light of the spirit stone? That's gotta be it, Sue. The spirit stone is related to the ancient civilization. That's it. This must be a real spirit stone. <laughs> cool. We're the first ones here. Even the guys in the Garlisle forces haven't come in here. Yeah, baby. Baby. Salt ruins ancient. Oh, this looks dope. Look at this shit. Look how cool it is. Oh, 
man, that's awesome. Um, always go right. This is a cool area. Oh, it's rotating something. Okay. I hit this and it spins around. Oh my god. Fucking. Oh. Brain fuck. Okay. Puts me back out here. There's a green button. Okay. Alright, so this is the same place. Try hitting the green button. And then see what this does. Round and round. Uh, okay, so I can't get on, so let's try hitting the green button again. The question is like, are these causing an iterative change or are these setting it to a certain I think it's I think it's just setting it to a certain state. The green one doesn't set it to any state that I can actually use it in. Let's skip hitting the blue one and see if we can go in here. We can. Let's try hitting the red one after hitting the green one without hitting the blue one. Let's see what that does. Still puts me out right next to the green. Okay. Um... So let's try hitting red a second time. I think this is still gonna put me out next. Oh, nope, this puts me out over by the red tunnel. Okay. Oh, oh, Lord. Holy shit. This is awesome. Cool. Never heard of ruins like this. It moves by itself. I'm sure great discoveries of the Angelo civilization lie ahead. Right, Sue? Justin, the spirit stone is shining again. Oh, hey, hey guys. You're making this a little awkward right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay. Why are you all staring at me? Why is everything eyes? Why is everything eyes? Sue, look! Angelo is calling. Oh, I guess, uh... Let's ride. We ride! Room of Illusion. Welcome, he who holds the spirit stone. Hi! Did you say something, Sue? Uh-uh, I didn't say anything. Yikes, cool. Welcome, he who holds the spirit stone, symbol of the promise between the humans and the spirits. Well, this is who, fucking dope. Who are you? I am Liette of Alent. Awesome. I have lived through and inherited the history of Angelo. She's got big round earrings, that's how you know she's a good guy. 100% chance. Whoa. Holy shit. Right, it's a room of illusion, but still, it's fucking cool. What? W what's going on? What the ah, hell are you talking about? Fall. Don't be scared. This is the land you live in when seen from the height of the stars. Holy shit. Come. Please tell me. What were you seeking when you opened the door? Hmm. Does she murder you if you say Gee, power? I bet, I bet you're she does. Uh, sort of putting me on the spot. Hey, 
How did you know that I have a spirit stone? All power is born from the light of the spirit stone. Without it, the door of Angelo does not open. But Angelo is just a mythical world. Yeah, we'll see about that, boy. It is no myth. The stone that you hold is the ancient symbol of the promise between the humans and spirits. Yeah, you told me that already. Like, you literally said those exact words a second ago. Justin's stupid, though, so that's fine. Look. <laughs> Look. I'm just doing my job. Don't give me shit. You want to speak to my manager? A world created by an eternal promise between the light of the spirits and the wings of the Icarians. This is the world of Angelo. Oh my god. I love the, the Magitek shit. The Icarians and the grace of the spirits will not wane, lest all of the stars sparkling in the sky turn to embers. Oh my god. This is awesome. Ever since receiving the blessing of the spirits, the people unyoked themselves of the original restrictions and began to walk along the path of evolution. So they scienced a little too hard. The light of the Icarians and that of the spirit stones are the symbols of peace in this world. Okay. So is it a parallel the people sciencing too hard in the modern world? Oh, what's going on? That's so fucking cool looking. Damn, that's awesome. God damn, all right. The spirit stone that you hold should really always stay with an Icarian. Say, Justin, doesn't that sound a lot like what's written in the myths of Angelo? I, I thought so too. If so, then how are the myths related to the Angelo civilization? Uh, Liet, is that your name? Please tell me, are those myths true? Please tell me, Liat. Are the myths of Angelo true? One who desires one answer to one question. Many answers. Must head for a lint. Do you desire many answers? I got lots of questions. If you desire many answers, then you must leave on a long, long journey towards a lint, ever towards the east. In your long journey, you may lose your way. However, the light of the Spirit Stone is sure to lead you to the right way. As long as you have the Spirit Stone. He who has the Spirit Stone. If you desire many answers, head for Alint. Towards the east? Alint? What could that mean? You want me to cross the sea and go to Alintia, the New World? Liet, is Alint... Will I be able to meet you in the New World, Liet? If I go to the New World, can I meet the real Liet and real Icarians? Wait, Liet! Don't forget... The light of the spirit stone will lead you to Alint. Now go. I am the Et of Alint. I am the one to wait for eternity. Huh. She's gone now. Liet. Oh. We saw lots of things, but it almost feels like it was all a dream. Uh huh. That really was like a dream. Justin, that light! Did you just see a light? W what's that? The Spirit Stone. It's shining. Incredible. That's just incredible, Justin. It is real. That's right. This is a real Spirit Stone. Liet, and everything we've seen is no fairy tale. It's all, it's all real. You're right, Justin. I've decided. I'm going to Alint. I'm going to meet the Ikarians. I'm gonna discover the Angelo civilization and surprise everyone, and then, and then, oh wow. Uh, anyway, I'm going to Alint for sure. The only one who can do it is me, the adventurer, Justin. 
Yes! I'm gonna show him. Whew. God damn. That's some heavy shit. Salt Ruins Ancient Passageway. Alright, you guys are not looking at me anymore, so that's much less awkward. Okay, we should be able to exit this way and probably get jumped is my suspicion. Who goes there? Oh shit, we're busted. What is a child doing here? Where did you come from? Lean, go secure the exit. Yes, sir, Colonel Mullen. Don't stare at me, Ace. It's gross. Easter Island Head. It's another emote for when we get a when we get affiliate. I have many questions for you two. Don't think you can get away. Oh shit. Oh, what do we do, Justin? Uh, I'll figure out something. If you do not answer truthfully, know that your life is in jeopardy. C Colonel Mullen, they're just children. Please, nothing rash. I understand. But one who makes a fool of me, even a child. This man, he's serious, Justin. His his eyes are not smiling. First, tell me your name. So you decided to answer truthfully. That girl there has been calling out your name. Now, be prepared before you answer. Continue your foolish obstinacy. And that girl will die too. Colonel Mullen! It's unavoidable in the line of duty. My boy, remember that this girl's life is in your hands. Did you open the door into here? My, my. Is that so? But neither the adventurers nor our men could open it until now. Now I shall ask you another question. What exactly did you see in the depths of these ruins? Nothing. I see the lie in your face. Looks like you won't cooperate. I have no time to waste. I will kill you and ask the girl. Stop! We saw a woman in strange lights. The girl's smarter than you. Be thankful to that girl. If she were not here, you would be dead. A woman and a light. A woman. Liet of Alint. The lights were spirits. Colonel Mullen, what will you do with these two? You can't be thinking of... Don't worry, Lean. Angelo is a major military secret. We'll keep them as informants. What? Are you going to take us away? Thought I could go home already. My dear, sorry, but you will never see your family again. Huh? No, you mean we're trapped for life? No, 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 no. Don't worry, Sue. The two of us can take care of these guys. My, my. But even if you escape here, there is still one trap ahead. You'll never escape Salt Ruins. <laughs> So how do you plan to escape from me? Ooh, Justin, um... Alright, uh, here it goes, sink or swim. Sue, let's go! You hit the button. Ooh, you spin me right around, baby, right around. Come, let's go, Sue. Ah, so this is how it works. Come back here! Can I hit it again? Nope, okay. <laughs> it fucking wrecked. Yee now I'm going to get the hell out of here. This goes to the blue area, so I want to go this way. We ride! <laughs> Look, Justin, what's that? Oh, boss monster. After I took a bunch of pointless damage, right? Oh, shit. This is gonna be rough. Oh, wait, never mind. We're both pretty much full. Um. Yeah, color coded. Um. Alright, so we need to save our SP for Ra Ra in case we get hurt. Let's go for the critical. He's only got 230 hit points. You can do two V-slashes, so we might as well open up with one so we can start regenerating SP. Be 
slash. Nice, got the combo. Start locking up his IP. Have her do a crit to knock him back some. What's he gonna do next attack? Uh, if we start winding up a critical, I think we can stop that. Damn. Too fast. Wow, he got really disoriented. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, land the combo. Let's just do double combo here. Let's lock him up as long as possible. Ooh, man, we really fucking locked him up. Um, let's have her do combo. And I think he can actually charge V-Slash in this time. Damn. Damn it! My timing's just like ever so slightly off each time. V-Slash! Nice. God damn. That was not terribly difficult at all. all right. A bag of fucking money! Straight up cash, that's right. Swag, 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 swag. Yeah, leveled up. And literally one XP short of leveling up for Justin. Literally. Sword up speed, if I recall. Ah, okay, so that's why everything felt a little slower with the axe. What was that? I wasn't here when we came. Yeah, a guy named Mullen said there was a trap. I think that was it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get out of here. No, there's a save point right there, Justin, you fucking fool. Wait, how'd they get out? Can't believe it. They defeated the Rockbird, too. <laughs> Colonel Mullen? Those guys are amazing. They managed to even escape me. Colonel Mullen, um, shouldn't we chase them? Having a little information about the Angelo Civilization get out will not undermine our plans. Let him go. I respect his recklessness. What was the name of that boy? Uh, he said it was Justin. Justin. <laughs> Quite a character he is. I had fun for the first time in a while. <laughs> yeah, sympathetic villains. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Alright! We got away. <laughs> it wasn't a dream. I did have a great adventure. Just wait a second, isn't it too soon to run away? It's evening already, let's go back to Parm. Well, we are gonna save the game. And that is gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry we had those technical difficulties and those eclipse distraction, but tomorrow we will do a straight three hour, 12 to three stream, and hopefully this audio problem will stay fixed. I'll get up early and we'll uh, we'll test that a little bit thank you so much and i will see you guys next time make sure you click that follow button if you are watching and that way you can see when we go live in the future i am out of here thank you so much have a great day Bye bye